Welcome to the Trafalgar Street Tunnel. My name's Josh Hall. I'd like to give an introduction to this project and just talk a little bit about the ideas behind the approach. So this is um, the Trafalgar Street Tunnel. It's a 35 meter long tunnel in uh, Enmore. And what you see at the moment is it in its state in early 2014, January 2014. Since then it's been painted over and um, there's none of this graffiti that's uh, shown uh, is still there. It's all been whitewashed. So part of the project is the idea of digital conservation. Uh, I think it's important to document. I don't, I don't agree with preserving street art so much because I think it's an important part of the process that there's a ongoing change but I think it's important to be able to document it and keep track of of what's going on and just be able to celebrate how rich it is and also have a sort of historical awareness of of what's going on um, so this reconstruction is produced through a process called photogrammetry and um, it was formed out of 1200 high resolution DSLR images uh, that are processed to produce this final outcome. As well as just being able to represent the state of the tunnel uh, in the past and to archive this state, I think it's also important to be able to tell stories and to have some sort of personal engagement with the space. And for that reason, I've created this tour system which you're seeing at the moment, where uh, tour guides of one kind or another um, can come through the space and talk about their experience of the space and point to individual things and give you a little bit more information about them. For example, this is a tag that was done by a friend many years ago, um, which is no, now no longer there. Um, I can move around and point to interesting elements and then you can come through and replay the tour and um, and see what I'm talking about. So for this project the tour guide is going to be Chris Tam who's um, a veteran uh, street artist and has got a lot of knowledge about this tunnel and the street art community in the area and for future projects I'm going to be working with people who have site-specific knowledge and particular stories to tell about the sites that I'm reconstructing. So this is an initial reconstruction which forms a kind of experiment into how to do this on a bit of a broader scale. I'm really interested in doing these sort of 3D reconstructions with these sort of tours uh, and ability to walk through for other sites. And next year I'm going to be involved in a residency program in Western Australia to use a similar approach to do 3D reconstructions of rock art. I hope you found this interesting and um, feel free to have a look around and I hope you enjoy your visit.